In this video, I explain how to configure authentication against Microsoft Azure Active Directory and retrieving groups. So first, you need, of course, a Microsoft Azure subscription. You can take an Office 365 basic uh, subscription, even an evaluation that includes Azure basic services. The um, evaluation license for Office 365 does not include a premium service to retrieve the groups, so that's an additional evaluation you need. You then create a trusted application in Microsoft Azure and you assign users to this application or groups that are allowed to access the, the application. You then create an identity provider in the smart console and relevant identity awareness objects. And then once the user is going to the captive portal authenticating against the gateway that is then using the identity provider, you will gain access. To add the identity service provider in smart console, we launch the relevant menu and then you open the Microsoft Azure Active Directory Administrator Center and you go to the single sign-on menu on the application. And once you have defined to add a new identity service provider, you will see that these values get configured automatically and filled automatically by Smart Console and you copy the relevant identifier URL and reply URL to the relevant fields. You then need to download the metadata that includes the certificate and all relevant information from the Microsoft Azure Active Directory portal and you import the metadata into the relevant field in Smart Console. Once this is done, you can configure the captive portal to use the identity provider and you need to make sure that on the configuration you allow the external user profile. So this external user profile is something that you configure in the smart dashboard. So the easiest way is to start the smart dashboard going to the mobile access portal and then you go to the users menu and you simply click on external user profiles. Once you click on this the first time, you will see that a generic profile will be generated. You leave all values as is and then you close it, you save everything that you have done in Smart Dashboard and then you close Smart Dashboard. So when you create a single sign-on application, an enterprise application enabled for SSO, by default, the attribute you see here, the group underscore attribute, is not included in this object definition. So we need to add it, this. And you are adding this by creating a dedicated group claim. So in the group claim configuration, you select security groups. Security groups refer to Microsoft Azure defined groups. And you need to make sure that the attribute is customized and named group underscore ATTR. You save the changes and then you do see that exactly group attribute is one of the attributes and claims that can be included in the SAML token that is issued to the user once the user authenticates. You then, in the Enterprise Application menu, add the relevant group the user belongs to that should have access to this application. And when you add a group, make sure that this group is associated with the Microsoft Active Directory license. Otherwise, you may not have a successful result. You then review the members in this group and then you can select one of the members 
to perform a logon to the system. In R80.40, we need to create a representation of the group defined in Microsoft Azure in the Smart Console. We do this by using the identity tag object. The identity tag object will have the external identifier field matching exactly what is the object ID in Microsoft Azure. And then you select this identity tag in the specific field of the access role object. Once you have performed the logon and you check the identity session, you will note that the identity session is then matching the access role object and even the smart console login message will show that the relevant access role has been calculated for this. When we log on to the system, the authentication will be run against the identity provider. We have a successful logon and we do have an identity session. When we run a command PDP monitor all, we see the IP address that we are currently using. We see the user that has logged on. We are matching a group that is currently represented only as the UU identifier. This is subject to more enhancements in the future. But we do see the access role that we have defined is matching. And this means that this security rule here will match in case this source will send traffic to this destination on this service.